What is good guys? It's Potato Blood. And today we're here to play some Civilization 5 as an act of hypeness for Civilization 6 that is coming out this um, October. I am so hyped. Um, and today we're going to play as um, Republic of Venice in uh, continent mode and as, um, as Prince level. Advanced setup. I'm gonna disable time victory because I just don't understand that game mode. And I'm gonna have nothing up here. I'm gonna have normal size um, people and stuff. And without further ado, let's hop right in. Greetings, most astute Doge Enrico Dandolo of Venice, master of statecraft and shrewd negotiator. Although you rose to power late in life, old age did little to slow your cunning or ambition, as you deftly managed the bustling commercial center of Venice during a time of great instability. In aligning yourself with the Fourth Crusade, you carefully gained strategic advantage and used the Crusaders to reacquire lost territory for Venice. Your role in guiding the Crusaders during the sacking of Constantinople led to an even greater expansion of your power and secured your legacy throughout history. Most insightful and cunning doge, Venice once again requires the service of a skilled leader, one who can bring the Republic back to the forefront of world affairs. Can you establish your nation through careful trade or will you work to conquer your enemies through diplomacy? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time. Thank you very much, the narrator, for reading this wonderful, wonderful um, intro. And um, the passive ability for the Venice is Serenissima. And it's, um, it's basically that you cannot gain the alert or annex cities. Double the um, normal number of trade routes available. A merchant of Venice appears after researching optics, may purchase and puppet at cities. So basically you cannot annex cities, that's all. And you can buy um, different city states by um, Merchant of Venice, which is the replacement of Great, Ven um, great Merchants. And um, second unique unit is the Great Gallius, which basically replaces the normal Gallius and basically stronger. So without further ado, let's hop right in. Oh, it's a pretty decent spot to start out, as you can see. Two cattles, we got spite, uh, incense right here, and a few crabs right here. Um, right off the back, two um, luxury resources. But I want to check out if there's any better stuff out here. Nope, nothing cool. I'm just going to settle right here. And gonna choose production. I'm going to start off with a scout, and then build a monument. Monumento. Yep. I am so hyped for Civilization 6 guys and first of all I'm gonna um, research rush writing and go for actually yeah I'm gonna go rush writing and go for animal husbandry this is Civilization 5 um, just in case you guys don't know Civ 6 is coming out this October I am so hyped Oh, there's bison right here. Uh, right now, we're just coasting around, seeing what's good. Um, just walking around. Oh, first one discovered. I guess there's a jungle down here. And this is a very skinny continent, honestly. Oh, advanced weapon. Uh, so I get a spearman to start off, which is very... Oh, El Dorado. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, one of my first playthrough and um, Civilization Five, like I never recorded it, but one of the first um, play that I did, I found of El Dorado just like five, like if this is my Washington D.C. that I found an El Dorado right there, so I was very happy then. Oh, uh, I'm gonna, I got my first scout now, so I'm gonna. Scout the north part, but it appears that it's gonna be a tundra and will end very soon. But yeah. There's some gym right here. I'm gonna 
pop on this hill for the extra vision. Will right here. Hmm. This will be a decent spot to settle, but I cannot think about settlers because I'm Venice. I just know this that. Oh, I'm such a plebeian. Uh, oh, city state up there, as you can see by the small borderline. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? What makest thou? A beautiful verse from the Bible. Pottery, um, so we can build granary and shrine now, which is very, very ideal. So, just gonna keep on scouting. This is mountain right there. I'm gonna meet, greet this um, city state. Um, Valletta. Yeah, 30 gold. Very happy. And there's another city state right there, so I might buy this one looking at the um, resources. Oh, barbarian camp down there. I'm just gonna greet these guys. Vancouver. Um, yep, gems. Not a bad city state, honestly. Just gonna cruise around. It's nice, explore. Oh, more ruins out here. Gonna pick it up later. Oh, yeah! I'm definitely gonna buy Vancouver. It's gonna be a great city. I can already tell. Gonna pick up. Oh, Zulu. Mina, Gengushaga, Uwagwazu. Ginsi zo ya mabut. Ngagu sho gufana yo nawe. All right, mate, Zulu. Um, I see that you guys have some hunting culture going on. I appreciate that. Nice meeting you. But first, um, but it was a good greeting. I better get going. Goodbye. Yep, um, I received 20 culture. Just stole that um, ruin from the Zulus, which is very happy. Um, you're gonna go this way. And you're gonna go the other way. And this, I, uh, this appears to be their capital. Is this... I missed a ruin? What a noob! Oops. Please wait a second. Well, that's a stupid announcement going on in the background. Please just ignore that. I'm gonna go for the honor tactic because I wanna go for the huge military victory. Ah, barbarian encampment right there, which is not really ideal. Which is going to separate me from the um, from my um, spearmen and from the civilization, from my civilization. Uh, just gonna check out just a normal barbs right there. Um, <coughs> before going for worker, I'm gonna go for granary because um, growth in Venice is very strong. Playing as the Kingdom Republic of Venice because since we are playing with one city, we need to have a huge populated, hugely populated city. I'm gonna go for Granary Shrine. I'm gonna have a strong religion in this game. I'm trying to grow. Okay, this the race for the ru um, ruin. I beat in them. I received 60 gold, which is not the best thing in the world. I'm gonna try holding down the fort here, make sure no barbarians spawn. Um, yeah. I'm gonna just hop on hop of the hop right here. I'm gonna go take out this barbarian encampment with my scouts. But um scout can do nothing at this moment. Scout's really weak, so I'm not gonna engage with scouts. Just gonna chill right here. Um Okay, do nothing. Because I put on alerts and it keep on bugging me off. So he right. it. I got oh I'm sorry for skipping that. Uh yeah, I'm sorry for skipping that. But first of all, I'm gonna go rush Great Library. Because that's how I roll. This is not good. I'm gonna purchase a worker. Yep, I did it. I purchased it. I purchased it. Yeah, oh gosh, this is not ideal. Okay, I'm gonna move this guy over here. Hold down the fort. I'm gonna move my spearmen as close to the enemy line as possible, the barbarian line as possible. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna build.
build a mine here. Try to grow my um, what should I call? Try to increase my production. I'm gonna keep my scout over here. And I'm gonna move. Ah, scouts! Why did you do that? That was very rude of you. But anyway, I'm gonna adopt a policy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the warrior code. Basically, it increases production for melee and a great general appears. So, just what I needed for Christmas. Oh, that was a stupid move by me. <gasps> I can't get a mine yet because I don't have the mining technology. So basically, this worker was basically pointless. So I'm just gonna walk over here, wait three turns, and um, get some mining. I'm gonna chill there, chill there. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna wait over here casually you can chill you guys can chill as well i'm gonna move this guy over here and let's see the siege of barbarian encampment will now officially begin um you can wait one more turn does this influence this um great general near yep near great general all right so i'm gonna open my attack with my Spearman, a fierce battle, and attack with my scouts. Weak, weak scouts. I'm gonna hold the ground. I should be able to take out this encampment in the next turn. Thou shalt. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox. Blah blah blah. I'm sorry for skipping this. I just have the habits. Please excuse me. I'm gonna go for mining next. Okay, I have to destroy this. Yep, I'm gonna destroy this in camera. Please destroy that guy. Yep, I did. And I received 25 gold. I'm gonna kill this unit up. I'm gonna put the general over here. Uh, and I'm just gonna keep on trucking. Ooh, so there are more people stronger than me. I'm gonna go for drill because as you can see I think this place is gonna be very conflict heavy. Uh, this is just going to be my control by me so yep I'm just gonna go I'm gonna fortify that troop hold my journal over here see what's good and what's going to be the next move. I'm gonna hold up here as soon as this has at least like 90 health I'm gonna attack this guy Hold up, next turn. Let's see how long I've been recording. I'm sorry. Uh, 12 minutes. Yep. Um, I'm gonna make it so that each episode is 15 or like 20 minutes long. Um, the meat shall inherit the earth, but not its mineral rights. This time, I did not skip my... Um, quotes. So I, I have access to mining now. Gonna hold the fort and yeah, I'm gonna attack these guys. A minor victory or oh, major victory. I'm gonna wiggle them down. I'm gonna go for bronze work because I'm gonna um after bronze work I'm gonna go for um, calendar and then optics. And then archery because optics going to allow me to have what should I call great merchant bronze working will um, make, allow me to see which one of these guys have um, iron so yeah I'm gonna chill that guy this guy's probably gonna back off or not so I'm just gonna take this guy I'm gonna move this guy over here protecting the great general I'm gonna hold the fort this guy's probably gonna back off. Yeah, semi back off. I'm gonna build a mine over here, increasing production. I'm gonna put the um, scout a little bit forward. I'm gonna attack. Attack. And these barbarians should be very low. And sooner or later, I should be able to take them. Out. The AI in Civilization 5 is just stupid. 
so I'm hoping that Civ 6, the AI will be much better as the trailer is saying. There we go. And Spearman is one victorious again. I'm gonna move the scout to check out what's around. Um, Zulu have all, um, built their second city already over here where I was gonna settle if I was able to settle. So I'm gonna go for Jill too. I'm gonna hold the fort down here. I'll have a policy. Um, gain more, um, 50 more, 50% 50 more experience. That's always ideal. I'm gonna go up in the loop and check out for more land. I'm gonna hold the fort down here. This barbarian unit is just barbarian. I'm gonna hold the fort once more. I'm gonna keep on scouting. I'm gonna visit this. I'm gonna keep healing. I'm gonna visit this Panama City of Panama. I'm gonna, just gonna hold the fort. And I'm gonna attack this right now-ish. Here Hector enters. With a spear 11 cubits long in his hand, the bronze point gleamed in front of him and was fastened to the shaft of the spear by a ring of gold. Beautiful, beautiful quote by Homer. Um, not Homer Simpson. The Homer from Greek mythology or something. I don't know. So I can build spearmen, barracks, statue of Zeus, and all those other cool stuff. I'm gonna explore more, and I'm gonna engage this barbarian unit. Cha! Gonna wiggle them down quite a lot. Um, great Lyra is coming up in eight turns. Um, I'm gonna wipe them out now. Cha! Gonna wipe them out. Gonna put my um, great general over there. Gonna keep scouting. If you guys have read To Kill a Mockingbird, there's Alec um, Scout. Um, I forgot her last name, which is quite shameful because I read that book like, a few days ago. <sighs> okay, this is not the ideal situation because, as you can see, there's not much iron around and. This iron here, here, but not around my city. Which is not the coolest thing in the world. And unless there's iron in this tile, which does not look like it because I think it's gonna end like this city. I am not looking good, which is not good, of course. And I'm just gonna keep on trucking. Keep on scouting. I'm gonna recall my spearman unit. This is not looking good, guys. The map is not looking good. Well, this is going to be my first victim. Hold on. Um, what should I call? Series. Um, I have horse, so I can build for some. What you might call? Um, cavalry and stuff, but cavalry are not really good against siege, so I'm very worried. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on trucking, building more stuff. There's more iron down here, man. Zulu has like abundance of iron, like this, like this is basically Zulu's territory. And this is basically my territory. So, man. Oh no. My scouts are being invaded. They might die here. So I'm just gonna back them off and heal them up. Hmm. This is very tricky indeed. Oh! Libraries are the shrine where all the relics of the ancient saints, full of true virtue, and that without delusion or imposture, are preserved and reposed. 
Beautiful. I got the great library, which is very good. Um, gonna get a free technology. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up. Uh, usually, oh yeah, um, drama and poetry. Um, mm. Should I go? Should I just change to a cultural victory? Because there's no way that I'm going to be able to. Um, win the war in the early stage of so but you know what I'm gonna go for sailing yep I'm gonna go for sailing because I have a lot of good resources out there I'm gonna fortify this troop oh yeah and I'm so sorry I skipped that quote but that quote basically said he who commands the sea com has command of everything I don't know it's something on long that time. I played this game enough to know those codes. Um, I'm losing money slightly, but that is not really. So the teach us though. to number our days so that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Another great verse from the Bible. Uh, I'm gonna just heal my guys up. Uh, and I'm gonna start just trying to improve my um, tiles and try to grow. This is not looking good at all. My scout's just going to be wrecked. I'm gonna escape down here. And I'm gonna swing around and escape. Yeah, that is my battle plan. And my spearman is already back on his feet. Um, since I adopted the honor trait, I need to go hunt some barbarian camps. So. Um, I'm gonna go hoppity hop and going to improve this incense so I can gain more happiness and some gold hopefully. And since my production for the whatchamacall, um, great library is finished, I'm gonna go back to default focus and see what's good of course. I'm going to keep on moving my spearmen, looking for some battle. Venice Demon's Gem. You know what? I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna buy that. Um, I don't really care if it doesn't have iron or not. I think it's gonna be good for my people. Yeah. And it, it has the science place right there. Yeah, it's gonna be good for people. Good for my people. And that's what all matters in this game. Not your military strengths. For your people. For your happiness. Um, Stonehenge has been built far away land. Let's see the demographics. Mm, I am quite behind in literacy. Approval. I am apparently not the best. Mm, crop yield. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna keep on trucking though. Gonna come down. Man, I really wish I was able to settle because this will be a beautiful segment. I'm just gonna keep on trucking though. I'm gonna come Buy it. Yeah, I would like to discuss about some Ubusash. embassy stuff, but you don't have writing, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna ask for anything. Just goodbye. See you later, Zulu. I'm gonna build myself. Hmm, it is quite tough, honestly. When attacking cities, um. That is quite tempting. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna go for a workboat. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a workboat because I'm gonna try and improve, uh, improve these tiles, improve these crap tiles, getting some happiness. You made an instrument to know. Shine at full or no. There we go. Welcome to the classic layer. I'm here at classic layer. I got my first great merchant. I'm gonna spend it on taking this on what you might call. Um I'm gonna take Vancouver. Because this has what you might call pearls, but pearls not really my interest. And this has better lands and stuff, so yeah. I'm gonna come here, punish this encampment. Okay. 
this lone merchant just walking around. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own plumes. We often. <laughs> Oops. I thought the quote was over. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna invent wheel now because what I want to do is connect my cities. And I'm gonna go for trapping, finish off the ancient era stuff, and move on to construction. I'm so sorry guys for skipping quotes time to time. Uh, let's see. Yep, they're gonna come over here. Um, fishes. This guy has improved quite well. Oh, not bad. Not bad indeed. I'm gonna just come over here and build a uh, crab fishing boat. I'm gonna push on with these guys. And I'm gonna come here. And I'm gonna build a great lighthouse. Yeah. Since I'm Venice, I'm gonna focus on. Um, production. So. And I'm gonna buy the city state right here, city of Vancouver. Yes, yeah, brother. I get all the units as well, so yeah, that's ideal. Hmm. Ooh, Venice loves the king, which is always good. And you can stay garrison. I'm gonna send my farmer over here. Because it appears that the city is not doing so good. So. Um, I'm gonna move my. Oh, they destroyed the spear. Um, Alright. Okay, fair enough. Yep. I'm just gonna. Next turn. Then. Oh, actually. Yep. Finish that farm right there. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad. I skipped that code accidentally once again. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Like, please forgive me. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna come over here. Next turn. I'm gonna meet the city right here. Hello. Ooh. This city is tempting. It has a luxury resource to um, control their happiness. Yep, I made my choice. I'm gonna buy the city state most likely. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Buy the city state. And I'm gonna build a mine here quickly to improve the production. City that I'm going to buy, we don't need to get um, the friendly and all because I'm gonna buy them anyway. They're gonna be loving me sooner or later. Um, I'm gonna come to Venice. And I'm soon going to start making a road up to Vancouver. And I'm gonna move my scout about policy. I'm gonna get my another tr um, tree for my honors. Yep. Gonna start building my road. It should help our economy out as well. Gonna move on here. Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets twice. There we go, picking that up. Um, I'm just gonna keep exploring. Civ 5 music is really beautiful. Should I make them get trapped? They probably have optics. So I'm, not really I'm gonna keep on moving. I'm gonna recall all my troops. I have explored basically everything. So, everything in this continent. So, yeah. Zulu and I. That's everything. 
for some reason, Pop of the Cities, um, automatically going to gold focus. But I think it's because they don't want to affect our economy that much. I'm building a road all the way to Vancouver. How happy are those whose walls already rise? Mm, I agree. Yeah, I'm gonna um, station my spearmen and scout up and move my scout back. Um, the reason I'm stationing my spearmen is here because it's the midpoint. The um, it's the midpoint of this continent, and if there's any barbarian encampments that spawn, I can always go and take them down. Huh, I should have engaged, um, what should I call? Raging Barbarians. But anyways, I'm gonna construct the road here. Try to connect these guys up. Ooh, Pyramids has been built far in a far away land. In Civ 6, I heard um, from the trailer that the road is going to be now made by traders as they trade um, between cities. So that is quite cool as well. I would like that in the future ASAP. Well, that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like button and make sure to subscribe. And this is this was Potato Pleb. I'm signing out. Peace!